Hello, everybody, and welcome to Vagrants on Vacation. So what are we talking about today, Tom? Well, this will be our first one about a holiday we've been on. We have just got back from Barcelona about two weeks, two weeks, week, two weeks ago. So we'll talk about that then, shall we? Yes. Why not? <laughs> So, Tom, who did we book with? We booked with Jet 2. Well, why not? They do city breaks. Looked at their prices and I thought, there are others you could book with. But yeah, we just I just thought they fly from Birmingham. It's local to us. We have a good range of places to visit. I thought, well, I'll give them a go. Not for playing with them before. So, why not? I would definitely recommend going with Jet 2 because I think that they were very attentive, don't you? I think. The whole process with Jet 2 is quite good. I mean, it's fairly easy to book everything. As most people do nowadays, just go online, hunt through what you want to do and book it. Yeah, I thought it was fairly easy. We booked it quite a while ago, actually. Sometime mm. towards the middle of last year. Um, you, know, you put a deposit down, it give you a good time to pay it off if you want to do that. Um, but yeah, generally, overall, Jet 2, yeah, they're okay. Yeah, not too, not too bad for yeah. a package holiday company. They're reasonably priced. I think most things are about the same price. You get what you pay for. But yeah, overall, easy booking process. It's nice to know that everything's all in one thing. You don't have to book everything like separately, do you? No. I mean, we've done that before where you've used like Expedia, right? you book your flight try and find a hotel um, but I thought it's just, just easier just to get to have their own claims you know, yeah it's yeah it's, if something's going to go wrong you're generally um, you're going to be okay you're booking yourself you yes, sort yourself mm. yeah. yeah and the planes are nice and clean and tidy as well and we book seats with extra leg room <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know me <laughs> I'm five foot, so I really need the leg room. <laughs> but it's nice, and you're at the front of the plane as well, so you're um, yeah. first off, which is nice because, as we all know, it can be chaos getting off a plane. Oh, yeah. But I'm sure we'll talk about that uh, later time. Yes. Well, there was you and me. Well, I sat next to the window. You were in the middle, and then there was this really tall. <laughs> they had massive they feet. They were huge, weren't they? <laughs> I mean, there wasn't enough leg room for him. No, there was. He had to put his feet out on the, uh, on the, in the middle. Yeah. I bet he was looking at me going, what on earth are you doing sitting in there? You yeah. could go up and sit in this baggage. <laughs> thing is, I, you have to be comfortable. I get into that age. It cost me an extra few quid to be comfortable. I'm going to pay. Yeah. yeah I mean, the seats were... The only annoying thing I think about was the table thing that they put in front of you. On the way out, we just got landed with it and that was yeah. it. But on the way back, we said, no, no, it's all right. right. I don't want the table. Because we'd already bought our own food and everything like that. Because obviously you've got to pay for everything. Yes. There's nothing free. There's, you don't get a to. free sandwich thrown at you. Because yeah. I remember when I used to fly over from Germany to Stansted, you at least got a sandwich. Air Berlin. Air yeah. Berlin, yeah. Your ham or the queso? Yeah. <laughs> chicken, chicken da queso. Chicken da queso. <laughs> so you at least got a sandwich. Cafe but... or tea. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Still remember my journey. So, um, yeah, so I think as far as a haulage pack, haulage? A holiday yeah. package company, I think they're, yeah, they're, okay. they're pretty good. And very, very attentive as well at the airport itself on as regards to check-in. Yes, there's a and, lot of staff around. Yeah, so. to help. And they're willing as well. Yeah, they seem to. We didn't need the help, but we saw a few people mm -hmm. speak to them and they all seemed to have a smile. Yeah, I think it's important. The other side, not too mad, not too bad in the UK because we we're obviously all speaking English. It's mm. Not really an issue, but no. But coming back, yeah, I think there's a couple who've lost their passport. Yeah, but they had these temporary passports and all this sort of stuff. But yeah, so yeah, I think yeah, overall um, a good seven, eight out of ten for the company, mm. for the booking. Program. Cool. What did I book? It's a hotel. Yes. That's a nice hotel. It's a um, cubic. Cubic H10. Yeah, that's the group they belong to. Quite a lot of H10s in Barcelona. Good location. Very good location. They're probably four star type of hotel. I yeah. The class themselves is four star. The room was nice and airy. Yeah. We got an upgrade. We did get an upgrade though. Got a bigger room. 
I don't think he had slippers. He needs. The shower was amazing. Yeah, my shower. And then you get your breakfast served from 7.30 till 10, Yes, buffet breakfast um, costs you a little bit extra. Definitely worth it. Mm. I think we always feel if you get a good breakfast and you, you get through most of the day. Though people do say in Barcelona you just go to, there's loads of little cafes and that where you can get mm. your breakfast was relatively cheap. And I think walking around, you, well, yeah, it's relatively cheap. It is nice to start your day with a nice breakfast. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Nice mm. cup of coffee, orange juice and a little bit of a continent breakfast although they had lots of pastries there was hams cheese cereals toast cake, cake. cake. yeah they had a cake of the day you could order as well off a menu if you wanted omelettes pancakes and things like that so that was really good so our advice is if you do get a breakfast definitely fill up on your breakfast yes because it will tide you over because you will do a lot of walking emphasis a lot the first day we were there we did 22 k's without even realizing because you're just wandering around aimlessly (laughs) (laughs) so i packed a bag and then i had to repack it because the weather obviously has changed we went quite early in the year so i think we were very lucky with the weather as well because we looked at the weather for this week and it's raining so i think we were very lucky with the weather yes well between 15 20 Mm. dry we're quite lucky right so it it didn't rain but i would recommend comfortable shoes yes very comfortable shoes good trainer or good Mm. good shoe definitely not flip-flops no no, because you it's hilly as well, you know, if you're going up to the, the Monk, Jock, Monk. Whatever it's called. Yeah. Jock. So we are we are trying to um pronounce the word correctly. The big hill by the port. Yeah, it is Mont Mont Jack. Mont Jock. Mont, Mont Jack. Jack or something. Yeah. Um it's up near where the port is. I think it's the nearest. The Museum National de Art de Catalonia. Yes. Yeah, and a big fountain. Unfortunately, all the fountains were empty when we went this time of year. I think there's a water shortage. Yeah, they've got a water shortage on at the moment, haven't they? Yeah. And I think um, the prepping as well, they've got the America Cup at the end of this year. So there's a lot of roadworks preparation for that, um, especially around the um, marina area. Well, quite a lot of work going on. What were we talking about? Oh, packing, weren't we? Yeah. Digress yeah. as always. Well, no, that's fine. That's Pretty fine because that brings us. Well, we've talked about the weather a little bit anyway. So, I mean, it can get very, very, very hot. Yes, in the, in the summer. We were sat outside the cathedral and there was a, a lady that sat chatting to us. Actually, she was from Holland and she's been all over the world. We had a really nice conversation with her and um, she said, Yeah, it just gets oppressive, yeah. which was nice in the hotel that we were in. Because at the top of the hotel, they had like a rooftop bar with a dip pool and things. So if it does get too hot, you can get out of the all the concrete and things and just Some fresh air. Sit, sit on top of the concrete. Yeah. <laughs> Drink your sangria. Oh, no. yeah, have well, a sangria yeah, and yeah. put your feet in the dip pool. So. Nice, yeah. Yeah, it's nice, actually, especially mm. in the mid-afternoon. Like we've been out all morning and most of the afternoon. We've come yeah. Back to the hotel. Have a drink, drink, then have a siesta, get ready and go Go out out. for the evening Mm. and uh, look for food. Mm. And on that subject of food, (laughs) the first (laughs) night we got there, (laughs) we ended up having a Burger King. But I must say, it was such a nice (laughs) Burger King. I don't know whether it's because we've been travelling all day or whatever. It was was just... Yeah, it was a long day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was quite... I mean, even though it's only a two-hour flight and we flew direct from Birmingham Mm. and we live in the West Midlands, so it's very easy for us to get there. It's the waiting around, isn't it? Doing the security and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so we had a Burger King on the first night. Second night, we went and had... Oh, we went to the big market, didn't we? The food yes. market. Um, the... Yeah, it's off the Ramblas. Um, market de la Boccaria. The Boccaria, that's, that's it. it yeah. um, we went there and picked out, but got to one of the stalls. I had chicken on a stick. Chicken. And you had... Some um, croquettes. Co- croquettes. 
Hatta. So that's um, what we had. Yeah, so we had that and we just sort of walked around eating. E- eating that and we went down to the marina and then we walked around the Gothic quarter and that was near where our hotel was. Well, our hotel was in the Gothic, in the Gothic quarter and that place is beautiful. Best part of Barcelona. Yeah, I, I think, I think so, quarter. without a doubt. Because yeah. we'd gone to the Sagrida familiar yeah. in the morning and just a quick note and a tip pre-book for sure because when we got there you can't actually turn up and get a ticket, get a ticket you, you for the day because we wouldn't have minded just queuing up um but no you need to pre-book if you want to go there and get there early yeah, yeah. if you're gonna pre-book pre-book at early time because it is Mm. busy and we weren't even there at holiday holiday season no, yeah god, god knows what oh, it was like this, season, this week yeah with it being easter because the spanish love festival yeah, it right. was really busy and we yeah just walked around that day didn't and we? then we just we looked outside looked at it outside and things like that and went yeah it's all right i'm not really a big fan i thought i was but i'm not really that big a fan of Gaudi's work to be honest it's okay but there are far more buildings. attractive buildings yeah. and architecture around just from things like the door handles and door knockers and little bits of artwork that are even around the streets so if you want to do Barcelona on a budget be bougie on a budget then I would suggest just literally get your walking shoes on and walk about, walk about. Yeah, plenty of food. get yourself to the marina but yeah, it's, I mean, the first day that's what we did just walked around and um, went to see the big Arc de Triomphe. It's red, not marble. I bet it's nice down there in the summer. The marina, yeah. the beach, yeah, the beach looks lovely, nice and big. Mm. It was a bit cold when we went and go in. Michael Barrymore was there at the same time we were. We didn't see him though. Uh, yeah, so we had the chicken on the stick. And then on the third night, we actually did brave it and go into a tapas bar. We would probably recommend going. You yeah, must, plenty you know, if you're going to go there, you must have tapas. Yeah, there's loads of places to eat. There's they absolutely s- loads. They say try and stay out of the uh, main tourist mm. streets, but you'll notice them. They'll have the old, it's like anywhere if you go on holiday, they'll have the old menu flickers yeah they're all outside the shops and here's a tip if you don't want them harassing you as you're walking down have an either an ice cream in your hand toothpicks or just something to eat just have like a, a packet of crisps or something on you they won't bother you then they didn't did they <laughs> no. were eating or eating something or, drinking, even, or drinking or whatever yeah but yeah it's just typical tourist if you're in the tourist areas especially like las ramblas and down by the marina where there's lots of restaurants they do try to um, entice you in by saying yeah we're the best we're the cheapest you can get the biggest portions but that's what's expected in tourist areas um, especially around the med i think everywhere i've been around the med there's mm. always some big and it entice you into the bar or the restaurant. What did we have on the last night? Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I enjoyed it that much, though. I really wanted another one. Uh, oh, dear. Yeah. Once we got to the airport and things like that, we actually watched... I will link his YouTube channel to this um, podcast. I can't remember what his name is offhand now, but he is Spanish and him and his wife go around Spain and Italy and they do like travel vlogs and things, but they also each year do an update on public transport and best ways to get around the city. And we got the airport bus, the Airbus. Hmm. Bus. And for the taxi from the airport, it's roughly about 45 euros to get into the city one way. So for us, it was about 14 euros yeah, it was wasn't it for two of us and it takes you straight to the center yeah. it runs every 10 minutes and it runs for 24 hours yeah. and it just takes you straight to the airport there is one for terminal one which is t1 and one for terminal two which is t2 and we, we didn't know that about that until we'd watched this program we were going to get the metro but i'm quite glad that we did because i think lugging the bags on the metro, metro yeah, is not be, fun yeah it might be a bit and it's hot down there i mean overall the um, transport system is awesome. fabulous yeah you, know, you can get um day tickets mm. how many days just four or five tickets yeah we got a underground ticket for 48 hours 
And what was it? Oh, they haven't got it's the actually, price on it. It's here. actually got a name. I can't remember what it is. But yeah, they're, they're, um, yeah. And it's just got Barcelona travel card on it. Yeah, here. basically, yeah, Barcelona travel card. Oh, but yeah, the, um, the machines are really easy to use as well because you can... Use your card. You can actually yeah. pre-book online before you go and just mm. pick it up when you get to a machine. Um, and there's machines at the airport. So if you want to use the underground or... It's actually for all the um, public transport. Yes. Including the... Um, Funicular tray that takes you to the top and out. Yeah. yeah. There's also another one that you can have, and it's 20 euros, I think. And I think it lasts for three months, but you have to always carry around your passport with it. And me and Tom are not big believers of no. once we get somewhere, that's it, it's locked away yeah, until you are going passport. home. Mm. So, um, yeah, I, I personally wouldn't recommend that one, but if that's the one you want, that's the one you can use. So, places to visit, Tom. Well, obviously, there's all the churches, um, Spain like churches, they have quite a lot of. Um, there's the cathedral, there's the big Gaudi church, and they haven't finished, it's taken 100 years, still haven't finished. Can't really say much about that, really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but there's a few other machines. Um, there's, there's Picasso museums, there's the Gaudi museums. There's, we didn't, there's a lot. I think um, we went with a um, hope and a prayer, really. We didn't really plan anything. We thought, well, just that. We're off season, we should be okay. But it was still busy. busy. Uh, we went, one place we did go to was the, um, the National, you know, the Catalonian um, National Gallery, mm. what it's called. Um, on Mont Jot, there's an art gallery. To be honest, I was uh, probably disappointed. With them. I, didn't... I thought there'd be more art. Uh, portraiture and stuff like that yeah. yeah obviously it's a religious country so there's a lot of religious art where they basically got down loads of churches and stole all the art and put it in the museum which is basically what they did in the 50s and there's, got, there's quite a lot of it and they say oh yeah this was on this church we knocked it down and brought it here not something we would do nowadays and um, we'd preserve the church and keep it in the original location mm. again, but obviously when they were doing this in the 50s they didn't really yeah. As much as they can now. But it's quite funny actually, there's quite a lot of cable cars in Barcelona. There's one that goes up the um, Mont Duke Park, um, and there's another one that goes across the marina and that. And I didn't notice it on our first night or yeah. first day. <laughs> and we were sat in the hotel uh, rooftop bar, and did I spot it or did you No, it? no, you. There's us, I went. We were sat a down, and you, you looked over, and then you shot a look back at me and I went why do you think I said no when we were sat down by the marina, marina. I noticed it bar and I went there's a cable car and you oh I just and it, it you know maybe if Katie got over a few of heights it, it's probably a great view actually so it probably is it's probably something to do yeah. it's got nothing to do with heights because I'm all right with going up in a plane and up in the building and stuff it's, do they maintain them? That's the yeah. thing. I, just, I don't care about that. Well, it's like when we're, we walked up um, most majority of the Mont Jean Park through the woods, and there's a cable car that goes up from the, the end of the nuclear up to the top. Yeah. And for some reason, um, it stopped, didn't it? When we well, were we, were, up. we sort of went past, didn't we? And yeah. you were like, oh, no, wait, I'm not going on that. And as we went up, it stopped. And then it was stopped for about, what, half hour? Yeah, and there's people in it. And it's. And these oh, things are like, so, no. like conservatory. No. Like, we so would not be doing this podcast now <laughs> if <laughs> <laughs> if you'd have made me go on that because I would have been curious. Mm. <laughs> the last day, the last day, you just walked around the streets again, didn't you? You, you saw the um, various buildings that... Oh, Gaudi... yeah, we did the walkabout of the Gaudi buildings because I did want to have a look and, and see them. Yeah. There was one just around the corner from the hotel, which actually is the best one, yeah. I would say. If you want to see any pictures of them, I do have some um, slideshows on the YouTube channel, so you can do that. And then when, once we start, because we're planning on filming these podcasts as well, we'll be able to sneak them in, sneak in pictures and films and stuff like that and um, yeah so we basically walked around to look at the Gaudi buildings again the same with the basilica if you want to go to certain buildings you can actually go inside and one of them has an immersive experience but I would recommend you book before you arrive to Barcelona as well because the streets were just so busy weren't they yeah. right around those particular yeah. houses and it wasn't even the holiday period 
yeah, that was it. Yeah, so then came home. And your overall impressions? Overall impressions, I think it's about a 7 out of 10. I think, um, would I go back? I probably would. Just Only, to go inside. Like, to, a couple yeah. of things we didn't actually, on our pre-book, I wouldn't do what we, because we're, we're quite lassie fair, like I said before, we just like getting up and going, oh, that's a nice day, we're, doing, we're just going to do our own thing and, you know, make, make the most of the day and not plan things, see how things go. But I think, us learning you need to learn have so. one thing planned day, specifically or, for each yeah. day unless you want to make up an itinerary of like right at 12 o'clock we're doing this at, yeah. we're not that regimented no we're not um, maybe a skeleton plan, plan. We can, but we don't know barcelona we don't it's not somewhere no and there was the village thing as well that, where, yeah yeah which is i think i would like to go up, up and see that yeah which we didn't yeah we didn't want that. no we didn't plan. yeah so i think if you plan it you'll probably get more out of it mm. um that's not to say we didn't getting, enjoy it because yeah, we've really loved it, it. Yeah, you know really the good. architecture and everything is beautiful yeah and it's um it's a nice clean uh, city I, I didn't i mean there's a lot of roadworks going on so that's happening everywhere yeah yeah um good good transport link this not rumor but um not history it's got a thing about pocket uh, pickpockets now. oh yeah the street crime yeah basically every video that we watch be aware everyone's like be aware be aware i mean obviously that goes without saying wherever you go Anything. regardless of whether you're going to Bidbury in the you know in the Cotswolds to well it doesn't matter you could get pickpocketed there you don't know or Barcelona I don't think that's quite the analogy you need <laughs> well I mean I look at Birmingham which is Brit look, England's second, second city or Britain's second city Barcelona's Spain's second city yeah but you're just as likely if you're careful yes and you are sensible about your belongings it's, it shouldn't yeah. be a problem just don't go flaunting stuff that you've got yeah, don't wear you don't wear all your expensive stuff no and ex expect to be uh, not, not to be accosted another good tip is if you are worried about things like that get i think next time we go on holiday and i think we're gonna look into it is get one of those visa cards like a monzo or one of that so you can put your spendies on there so then you can use cards wherever you are you're not actually using your actual bank, your actual bank, bank card, card. Yeah. and if you lose it then you lose it don't yeah, you? You so lose it take some cash and leave that in the safe with you then at least you've got something but i would um, do that if you're worried about something like that but yeah barcelona was barcelona ring yes yeah so yeah we might go back maybe i think we would if we did a cruise or something and you spend a day there mm. and then you go all right we didn't do that so we'll do that this time mm. and just you know make there and just do that on the, on the excursion day or the day you're there on the cruise probably a good day for yeah but yeah definitely worth a visit if you have the time yeah i would definitely recommend going yeah let us know if you have been and if you've got any tips and tricks pop it in the comments below i've left the question on spotify about where you would most like to go on holiday i'd be quite interested to find out and i will say it is goodbye from him and it's goodbye from me see you later <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> da.